OK, you've downloaded the DT at home activity Spaceship Rescue. That's great. So what's it all about? In this activity, your job is to find the location of four missing spaceships, each located somewhere on the grid. NASA, who lost the spaceships, <laughs> careless, have sent up a bunch of probes to collect data to help you pinpoint where they are. The yellow dots are the probes, and each probe is reporting back to you how many spaceships it can see. So this probe, for example, can see exactly three of the lost spaceships somewhere along the lines going horizontally, vertically, and diagonally out from its location. By putting together all of the data from the probes, you can figure out where the lost spaceships are. You've got some spaceship markers to place on the grid where you think they are, and a pile of no spaceship markers to fill in the other spots on the grid. And if you don't want to cut out all those markers, you could use coins or cornflakes or something else you have lying around. So that's fine. How do you actually solve this problem? Well, you could start guessing, but there are a lot of places the spaceships could be hiding. It's going to be easier if you follow some simple steps, an algorithm to help you narrow down your search. So here's the first thing you can do. Look for any probes that can't see any lost spaceships at all. Here's one. Down at grid point A1, there's a probe with the number zero on it. That means that there are no lost spaceships along the lines horizontally, vertically, and diagonally from there. So you can put the no spaceship counters at all of those points. Any other probes marked with a zero, you can do the same. OK, places where lines from multiple probes intersect are good places to hunt for lost spaceships. See, this probe can see three spaceships somewhere along these lines. But this probe can see just one spaceship. Now, look at the places where their lines cross over. It's possible there might not be a spaceship at any of these points. But one thing is for sure. If there is one spaceship, at one of these points, we know that all the others must be empty, because this probe at C7 can only see one spaceship. If you carefully go through all of the probes, following their lines and seeing where they intersect with lines from the other probes, you can work out places where the spaceships can be. So give it a shot. See what you can do. Find those missing spaceships. You never know. NASA might name something after you, like a comet. Or a Mars robot, that'd be cool.